The opening events for this year's World of Winter may have been delayed, but that's not stopping one of the ice carvers. 13 on your side's Julie Koherik joins us live from his workshop in Grand Rapids. Julie, he's made nearly 100 sculptures in the past few days. Yes, nearly a hundred sculptures and he's not stopping. He's still working. We're here with Randy now. And so we're getting a behind the scenes look at what it takes to actually put something like this together. You've laid out some of your tools. What do we have here? We have a kind of a menagerie of different uh, tools from chainsaws to little keyhole saws that we use to kind of shape and round some of the sculptures. Uh, ice is, there's not really a hardware store you can go in and say, hey, where's your ice car carving tools? <laughs> so we kind of modify a lot of different things right. uh, to, to use them for ice. And that is a flamethrower? This is our little torch. Yeah, we have uh, um, the ice itself is it's really neat because when you're sanding it and smoothing at the end, you can just take a blowtorch and just blow it against there and, and uh, it'll melt the ice itself. It's one of those things where it, it's not intuitive to use, but it does. Right. It's, it's like our sander. So literally just warm it up there and warm your hands up cold so I'll stay a little further away from that yes. I think personally but <laughs> this dangerous. piece is going to become part of the piano that's ice a huge piano. part yeah. this Friday night yep yeah, you can come down and play a nice piano this is one of the pillars that's going to go on the side so we'll clean this up flatten it and it'll be glued probably 20 pieces of, of ice go together to make this piano something I was curious about is how do you actually put the ice together because obviously they're different pieces so how do you do that absolutely well we use glue which is uh this is our super glue, this water. <laughs> and so basically, as long as we have one of the pieces of ice that's really cold, and then we'll take like this large piece here, we'll take the aluminum, we'll polish a nice little flat spot on there. You have to make sure it's perfectly flat. And then you can take the ice cube, which is already cold, super cold, and then we just set it on, on there, and the cold from that translates and it sticks right on there. That's incredible that it's all just natural that way. Yep glues right together there. So these things are, are kind of cube things that we do. We put them in a press, press it out, and it makes these little ice cubes that uh, we do for obviously a lot of the weddings and stuff. So Right, so you got, I mean, something as small as that to as large as a piano, and you've got lots of other things planned for World of Winter, I'm sure. World of Winter Games is really going to be fun this yeah. weekend with the cornhole, with, with a lot of the uh, activities that you have that are interactive, opportunities for pictures with, with the sculptures. So it's definitely the weekend to get down here this weekend. And then don't forget the Silent Disco is coming up soon, right? The Silent Disco and then the large ice sculpture on, on the 10th. So Absolutely. A lot of, we'll have some of our information on our website, iceguru.com, and then worldofwintergr.com has calendars. All right, Randy, thank you so much, and good luck putting all of this together. We'll have thank more you. information on our website as well, but now back to you guys in the studio. Julie, so cool to get that yeah. breakdown. Now, I want to try ice carving. I probably need a few more lessons, though. Well, I can course. just stick ice cubes together. Simple <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Thanks so much, Julie. World of Winter runs through March 10th. You can find the full schedule of events at wintergr.com.